Hey you guys, it's Vijaya, and in today's video I'm going to show you how to make a really refreshing, cool noodle salad for the summer. And this came as a result of a request, and I get your requests and suggestions all the time, and this suggestion was to make something that was sort of light, refreshing, easy to put together for dinner, and was really healthy and good for you, right? And also in a single portion, because I know a lot of you out there live on your own or you're single and you don't wanna make a whole ton of food, so this is a great recipe to adapt to make into smaller quantities. I personally love it. I really feel great after I eat it because, you know, it's just really, really good for you. So let me show you what you're gonna need. There are a ton of vegetables in the salad and that's why I love it so much. So I have some sugar snap peas that I've cut in half a carrot that I've julienned, which just means cutting into matchstick pieces. I have a little bit of firm tofu. Again, some cucumber that I've cut into similar pieces as, as the carrots, because you want them almost a similar shape as the noodle. I have some toasted cashews here, about a quarter of a cup, a couple of scallions or green onions. I have one lime that I've split, so we're gonna use the juice, a little bit of that citrusy coriander, which I love so much, and I have a red pepper here, which I'm gonna show you how to cut up. The noodles, these are a lifesaver. You can buy these from the grocery store. These are rice noodles, and basically they're really, really easy to prepare. I'll show you how. They're just gonna go into a little bit of hot water seasoning, a little bit of soy sauce, some sesame oil, rice wine vinegar, and this, my friends, is mirin. It is a sweet Japanese cooking wine, which will add a lot of great sweetness to our dressing as well. If you like to kick things up a little bit, I've got some dry chili that I've pulverized, and to fry our tofu off in, a little bit of canola oil. So let's begin. So these dry rice noodles are just gonna go into a little bit of hot water and you wanna make sure they're submerged and they're gonna hang out for about 15 minutes until they soften up. And then once they've softened, I'm just gonna rinse them in a little bit of water and they'll be good to go. Now onto the tofu. This is extra firm tofu. And the thing is, is tofu has a lot of liquid and because I'm gonna be frying it up, I want it to be as dry as possible on the outside so that it gets nice and crispy and golden. And the best way to do that is to get a little bit of paper towel and just smush it a little bit and you'll find that the paper towel will absorb all that excess moisture. And then I wanna cut it into some pretty cubes. So that's pretty easy. There we go. One more time across this way and then we'll make pretty cubes like this. And again, the great thing about this recipe is it's super flexible. If you didn't want to do tofu, you could always do chicken, pork, beef, shrimp, almost anything. But when you're using those other proteins, you want to make sure you season with a little bit of salt and pepper before you go to fry them. So I want my pan nice and hot, and to test it, I'll just throw a little bit of water on that and see how it sizzles up really quickly. That's how I know we're good to go. So I'm going to go in with about a tablespoon of oil, not too much. And this is a nice non-stick surface, so the great thing is, is that the tofu will not stick. Okay, let's go. Woo! Just be careful because tofu has a tendency to sputter, okay? And you just wanna spread them out evenly so that they get nice and golden on all sides. While the tofu is frying up, I want to show you my favorite way to cut up a bell pepper. Because there are seeds in the middle of the bell pepper, I like to go around like this, avoiding the seeds. And you're just going to get the beautiful flesh of the bell pepper. Oopsie daisy. Close. And then you want to get that base as well. Discard the rest. And see, like in the middle, there's that little white pith. You want to get rid of that. Just like that, super easy. And then, the best way to cut a bell pepper is facing up like this as opposed to this way because this part is waxy and I find that the knife tends to slip on this part. So you're just gonna take it and you're gonna make the same shapes that you did with your carrots and cucumber. And that's about it. Done, oh, one more cut, there we go. And that's gonna join our other vegetable friends. And let's check on the tofu. Okay, this tofu is ready to come out. You wanna drain a bit of that oil. You can also put it on a paper towel if you're really concerned about the oil, but there isn't much oil in my dressing, so I'm okay with it. You can only use a tablespoon anyways. Oh, this one's trying to escape. No, you can't. 
The dressing couldn't be easier. We're going in with about two tablespoons of soy sauce. I'm using light soy sauce today, but you can use the dark stuff if you like something a little more intense. I'm gonna go in with about half a tablespoon of mirin because it is very sweet. I'm gonna go with about a tablespoon of rice wine vinegar which is very like subtle. It's not like white wine vinegar in that it's very sharp. It's more of a rounded flavor. And I love me some sesame oil. So I'm gonna go in with about half a tablespoon of sesame oil as well. And then to make it a little more fresh, I like the zip of some lime because you find that in so many Southeast Asian dishes. Lime just adds a perfect acidic bite. There we go, about one and a half or what am I saying, I can't even speak. I'd say like one whole one of these and about half of one of these. Okay, and because I like a little bit of heat, a pinch of chili flake and you can add as much or as little as you like. And that is the dressing you guys, super, super easy. So check out my noodles you guys, it's pretty insane what a little bit of hot water can do. So they hung out for about 15 minutes in the hot water and then I rinsed them under some cold water and that maintains the texture of the noodles because if you were to boil these, they would become super mushy. So that goes into the salad. So I have a little, some cashews, beautiful cashews here and you can use peanuts or any other type of nut that you want. I'm just gonna chop those up roughly and that's gonna add some great texture and butteriness just like that going over the top and then we have some green onions just cut the base off the green onions like that and then you want to sort of go on a diagonal and that's good and a little bit of fresh coriander also known as Cilantro or cilantro. I like saying cilantro though because it's kind of fun. And you know what? Even if you wanted, you could add some mint to this. Some Thai basil would be amazing. Really switch it up. I really want to make want you to make this your own. This is one of those dishes you have like extra vegetables laying in the fridge. Feel free to like switch it up and like do your own thing. And I'm gonna do about half and then we'll garnish with about half. Okay? Like how amazing does that look already? So good, right? Now we're gonna go in with that dressing. Yes ma'am and sir. <laughs> and then you literally can toss it with your hands and I promise you my hands are super clean. And get in there, get those vegetables, the tofu, everything sort of interspersed. And it's just like a kaleidoscope of color. Now it's time for the taste, you guys. I wanna get a little bit of everything. At least I'm gonna to try to get a little bit of everything. Some tofu, we got a bit of carrot in there, cucumber, cashew. Oh my god, the strands are never ending. Oh, here we go, here we go. Come with me, yay. Ready? You guys, I know I always say this, but you have got to try this recipe. It comes together in under 20 minutes. The noodles are so light and springy because we soak them in water. The vegetables super crunchy and I love all the textures. The butteriness of the cashews, the crunchiness of the tofu. What else is in this thing? Oh, the cilantro and scallions. Just puts it over the top and that dressing. That is the zippiest, zingiest dressing you will ever make. And you know what the great thing is? Make a whole bunch of that dressing, put it in the fridge and you can just put it on just about any other salad or meat because it's so so flavorful. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Did you? Did you? I don't know. Let me know. If you did, please be sure to give it a big old thumbs up. You know how I feel. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and of course if you have any suggestions leave them down below because I might make the recipe for you. I hope you enjoyed this video you guys. I will see you next time. Bye!